Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia, and I'm 23 years old, and I make mental health videos here on YouTube. And I have to say this: I'm back. I'm back, and I'm making videos again. Not just live update videos. We're going back to what this channel was. Where we talk about different topics every few days. Today, I decided that we should talk about med shaming and how it needs to end. So what is med shaming? Med shaming is when someone puts someone down because they take a certain medication or because they're on medications or because they use certain medications or believe in using medication. Med shaming covers both physical and mental health. And the one thing, well, argument I have is everyone needs different things and everyone believes different things. Just because you believe that medication shouldn't be used doesn't mean that that's factual. It's an opinion. Just like it's my opinion that medication is a lifesaver. I feel like there's such a toxic community when it comes to medicating people. Personally, I take haloperidol. Vorsioxetine, clonazepam, zopiclone, misoprolol, folic acid, quells, an iron supplement. I take these medications because I believe medications are a lifesaver. For me, medication really has been a life changer. I constantly get people commenting on videos that I've done when I talk about medication saying, oh, it's a bad drug, it's horrific. You shouldn't take it, you should get off it as soon as you can. And all all sorts. I did a TikTok a few days ago. I'll insert it here. Now, I know I don't it's because I just, I just taken my medication, which is sedating, so obviously I look sedated. But the comments on it are either it's a great drug, I've been on it for years, and others like get off it, it's not approved for long term use, get off it, it's not good to be on it, get off it, it's dangerous, get off it, it's, you're going to become addicted to it. Now I've taken clonazepam for three years now. Got to be three years. And I'm not on the full dose. My dose did get increased, but I'm not on the full dose. I take one milligram in the morning, one milligram in the afternoon, one milligram in the evening, and two milligrams at night. And even me saying that was going to attract people and be like, it's a dangerous drug, get off it. I wouldn't take something if I thought the risks outweighed the benefits. But there's such a toxic community, especially on Twitter of the so-called advocates saying medication's bad, try to avoid it. Like, yeah, I'm not saying drug up every single person with a mental illness because that's just ridiculous. But to people who need it, write a list of the pros and the cons. Instead, we should all be supportive of each other. We should all support each other's opinions if someone's dead against medication, then don't argue with them, just respect their opinion. They're entitled to have an opinion. Pro-med and anti-med are very controversial. So there's pro-med and anti-med. The thing is, when it comes to psychiatric medication, there's more controversy around taking medication for it. And what I say is, would you tell a cancer patient to stop their treatment? No. It's exactly the same. That's all I've got for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks to those who follow me on Patreon. Thanks to those who follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And thank you to those of you who support me over on TikTok.
My TikTok will be linked here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. If you've got any video requests, let me know in the comments down below.